crispy, garlicky stir-fried pork. Hi guys, welcome back to Thai Caliente. As I mentioned, we are making a garlic pork stir-fry, and in Thai, it's called Mu Gratiam. So it is going to have a lot of aromatic, crispy garlic, which I'm gonna show you how to make. There's just a few ingredients. So this dish actually comes together really quickly. There is one piece of equipment that you'll need if you wanna make this the authentic way, and that's a mortar and pestle. So um, if you have a mocajete <laughs> for my Spanish friends or Mexican friends, you can use that. Otherwise, um, we can just chop all the ingredients really fine but the mortal and pestle is gonna grind it all to kind of create a paste. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right now. First, I'm actually going to show you the ingredients. So I have about 20 cloves of garlic. I know that looks like a lot, but trust me, it's gonna work. And then I just have the stems of the cilantro. So this is a great way to use those up. And here I have some whole black peppercorns. If you want a more um, milder taste, then use white peppercorns, but I had black ones, so I'm using those. Then we're gonna use a little bit of sugar to marinate the meat, as well as a little bit of soy sauce. So for the pork, I'm using pork shoulder, which has a lot of flavor because of the fat. If you want a leaner option, then do a pork loin or tenderloin, um, but we do wanna marinate it before we start on the sauce, so I'm just adding the soy sauce, sugar, and a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon. Give that a good mix and then just go ahead and place it in the refrigerator. You can even do this overnight and it'll develop even more flavor, but just a few minutes is enough for now. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the sauce. So this is my mortal and I'm gonna be adding just five cloves of garlic from that um, 20 cloves of garlic that I showed you earlier. And then I'm going to add the black peppercorns and the cilantro stems. So like I said, if you have a mocajete, you can use that as well. Otherwise, um, you can just kind of try, try and grind them in a food chopper, but you want a paste kind of like that. I know it doesn't look as pretty. If you use the white peppercorns, then it will look lighter, but that right there is perfect. So now we're going to crush up the garlic. It's just so much easier to use a food chopper instead of hand chopping all of the garlic together. So I am just going to pulse it. I still want it to be in chunks, so I don't want it to be a paste. So I'm just giving it a quick couple of pulses, and then this is pretty much the texture that I want. So now we're going to fry the garlic for the gratiam part. So I'm adding enough oil to cover a saute pan. Um, I don't want the heat too high. I just have it on medium low. And do not take your eye off of this because if the garlic burns, then it'll taste bitter. So just keep stirring it. And then once it starts developing some color, just like how it is here, we can go ahead and remove it from the pan. We want it to be crispy, but like I said, not burned. So I'm actually going to use a little strainer and a measuring cup. And this right here is perfect. Let it drain off and save this oil. This is like garlic infused oil and we're gonna use that for our dish. So I'm just going to add a little bit to a pan and this time you do want the heat to medium, medium high because we're gonna start cooking our pork. Once the pork is about halfway done, we wanna go ahead and add the pounded garlic, cilantro stems and peppercorns that we did. Also don't empty out the, you don't clean out the mortar yet. We're gonna add some water for the sauce. So go ahead and combine that. And then for the stir fry sauce, we are doing one tablespoon of oyster sauce. You can also do mushroom sauce. One tablespoon of low sodium soy sauce, or you can also do coconut aminos or tamari, and then one teaspoon of fish sauce. Um, you can add a little bit of sugar if you want it sweeter, but go ahead and wait till the pork is done and then give it a try and see if it needs any additional sugar or soy sauce. So now I added a quarter cup into a quarter cup of water into the mortar and then just kind of swished it around so that way we can have a little bit more liquid in the sauce. You don't want it too liquidy, but um, I do like once the pork starts cooking, it's gonna get nice and saucy. So now the pork is done, make sure you taste it. And then we're going to top it off with that beautiful crispy fried garlic and also garnish it with some cilantro stems and serve it with some extra vegetables and hot steamed jasmine rice. And it's just such a comforting meal. All 
All right, I have been waiting to try this. It smells so good. I wish, I wish you had a smell cam. Mm. It's garlicky without being too overpowering. You kind of get the sweetness and the saltiness from the oyster sauce and the sugar. And that pork shoulder just has so much flavor. I really hope you give this recipe a try. If you do, please leave me a comment below or if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out any of my other authentic Thai recipe videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.